to Jolie Knott's Crochet. I'm Crystal. I'm Julie. And today we're going to do a yarn inspirations unboxing. Okay, so we're going to show you our yarn haul and then stay tuned and we're going to show you some upcoming projects that you can look forward to seeing on the Jolie Knott's Crochet channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the little notification bell so you can get notified when these new patterns release. Let's get on with it. If you have any ideas for what you see, go ahead and comment below and let us know uh, what ideas you have. All right, you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right, let's go. This is a big old box. Now this is a clearance haul from Yarnspirations. I can't guarantee all the colorways are there, but I'm sure any other color you can find, um, maybe at a different yarn store or wherever it may be. Let's get into opening it. There's more, right? Yeah, there's more. There's more. Uh, ah. Now let's open. O M G. M -G. This is beautiful. Okay, so wow. first thing we picked up some Karen. Kindness yarn. Now, I do not typically do a yellow or a Dijon or anything like that, but I do think it might look beautiful on my little JoJo here. So I did pick it up. Let's see. This is Karen Kindness. I've got three yellows and three sea foams. You want to take it up to the camera so they can see it a little bit more of close? Of course. Oh, here. Take the sea foam too. Sea foam, nice. <laughs> very pretty colors. Very, very, very pretty very. colors. That one is the ray yellow, and then we have the sea foam. Do you like those colors, Jolie? I like both of them. What would you like to make with them? Probably a blanket. Probably a blanket. Most of our house is made out of yarn, just <clears throat> telling you. Our house is made on it, out of yarn. Like, seriously. She's totally not lying. <laughs> what? <laughs> you said she was lying. Like, okay. seriously, I'm not lying. Okay, so for the Karen kindness, some information about the yarn. It does come in a 7 ounce skein. This is a 100% polyester yarn. It is a medium four weight. Recommended hook size is a 5 millimeter. Machine washable and dryable. 345 yards, 7 ounces. I think I said that already. Karen Kindness. I've never used this one before, so we will see how it comes out. If you have used this before and you know what it's like, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this yarn. All right, Jojo, we are going to move on to the next. Take this one and show them this color. And then I'll tell them what it's all about. You can just pass it to me sometimes. So we, I got, these were on sale for like a buck 80 or something. So I got the Vernat Pop Purple Morning. I did pick up 10 of these. They are in five ounce cakes, 280 yards, four weight yarn, and it suggests a five millimeter hook. It does allow you to machine wash and dry. Now I have not used this cake previously before, so I don't know how it washes up or how well it does, but it is really pretty. It goes into... How does it feel, Joe? It feels actually very, very soft. Really? Okay, it, cool. It goes into uh, purple to gray to violet. I think. Oh, fantastic. Violet and then light purple and then back to purple. So I only picked up four colorways in this yarn haul, two of them being in the Care and Kindness and one so far in the Burnett Pop. Okay, so the next one we got is the Karen Skinny Cakes. Now this is listed as a light three-way yarn. It is the spring and next month it will be summer. We live in sunny Southern California 
and I thought some three yarn might do us some good. So Jolie is going to show you. Boink! <laughs> All right. So this yarn, like I said, is a three weight yarn. Recommended hook size is a four millimeter. 100% uh, acrylic. These do come in an 8.8 .8 ounce skein. 795 yards. This is a huge cake. I love the colors of the white to pink to light gray to dark gray and then almost ombre back out to the light gray, white, pink, etc, etc. That is super, super pretty. We definitely have to figure out what to make with this one, right, Joe? Oh, yeah. I think we should make matching um, jackets. Oh, matching jackets. That would be a great idea. And it has a pattern of pink, gray, and black. Those are... And white. Two of my... Three of my favorite Don't colors. Don't white. Three of my favorite colors. I don't really like the pink. So these are really large skeins. I think we can definitely make something for Jolie and I. We got four skeins worth of this. We can definitely do um, matching. I have never used any of these yarns before, so I'm excited to try them out. So you definitely want to keep an eye out and see what we create with them. Ideas, suggestions, as usual, let me know in the description box below what you've done with them, what you think we can do with them. Okay, so on to the upcoming projects. The next project that we are going to have for you should be out next Monday or Tuesday. It is the Slanted Granny V-neck Sweater. We've got a series of V-neck slanted grannies coming. Jolie and I are both wearing some. I'm wearing the slanted granny summer tee. She's wearing the kids slanted granny crop top. And then we've also got the slanted granny sweatshirt coming. Now it is a little bit shorter in the body, designed more to fit those curves and show off what you have. And then we've got the summer crop top coming <laughs> that Jolie is showing you. It doesn't have to be worn off the shoulder. Like She's it. just a little weirdo and I thinks like it's like so that. perfect that way. I like it. Like and that. then we have the slanted granny summer tee that I am wearing here. This, <laughs> I don't like mine off the shoulder. <laughs> you do not. Leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> Next will be the circular funky fun rug. Now this rug is called funky fun only because it is a stash buster or a scrap rug and essentially you're going to be able to use all the different kinds of yarns, anything that contrasts each other and this is what it will be like. Like so, a rose. Right, I'm still working on this one. It's approximately just a little bit shorter than 30 inches wide. I've probably got about maybe 15 uh, more rounds to go to get rid of the stash that I have that I want to use for this. But of course you can use it with any scrap or any stash that you have and make it super, super fun. And you can use all the colors that you don't really are, is going to that you, you also, you can use all the colors that you don't use anymore. Right, or maybe like leftover skeins from projects that you've had before. I know I bought like eight or nine skeins for one project and only ended up using like six or seven. So Two. I've got some, you know, extra ones left over. So that's what this will be perfect with. We also have a Ruana coming. And I'm kind of in the middle of a panel here, so I don't have that to show you, but I'll show you a picture of a little bitty baby sneak peek for you guys to see. Jolie, do you have anything to say to our friends before we get out of here? Yes, I do. Uh, you should follow my mom on Facebook and Instagram under Jolie Notch Cliche and hit the subscribe, subscribe button. And the notification button so you can get notified when new patterns release. Oh, let's talk about the, about the crochet community. We also have a crochet community on Facebook, Jolie Knott's Crochet Community. Don't forget to join and show us what you've created. Thanks everyone for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.